We started it for a variety of reasons, but basically we wanted better tasting food, more ethically sourced, we wanted to support our local farmers, and we wanted packaging that wasn't going to clog up the landfills. Yeah, so most of the produce is sourced locally. Um, our farmers drive up behind the building, they unload everything into our coolers, and that's what we use for our meals. Our meals are made for people that are really health and trained, that are wanting to enjoy high quality food in a sustainable way. Hi, my name is Lizzie Scully, and I am one of the owners of Four Corners Guides, a multi-sport adventure guide service based out of Mancus, Colorado. I also co-authored the Bike Raft Guide with Steve Fassbinder, aka Doom. So this is the third in our series of unboxing and more videos for the Bike Raft Guide. We are calling them unboxing and more because not only are we doing first looks at these items, but we are also trying them in the field and in some cases reviewing them when we have the opportunity and in some cases using them and showing you how to use them as well. So this week we are looking at Farm to Summits dehydrated meals. Jane and Louise Barden founded Farm to Summit at the height of the pandemic in 2021, and good on them for getting this awesome company up and running during difficult economic times. However, I am not surprised. There's a heck of a lot to like about this company. First, it's run by ladies, and being a female business owner myself, this resonates with me. Second, they are the only dehydrated food company to use sustainable packaging for all their meals. Their meal pouches are omnidegradable, which is not something I'd ever heard of, but it means they break down in any environment where microbes are present, even a landfill. And the rest of their packaging is compostable, except the absorbers. So what are some other cool things about this company? Jane grew up on a farm, third generation, while Louise has a master in ecology. Both are avid outdoors women, and being outdoorsy conservationists and lovers of fresh locally produced food, the ladies wanted to create a fully sustainable product that could potentially change the paradigm of what people eat in the backcountry. In addition to their sustainable packaging, the couple decided to purchase imperfect foods from local farmers in and around Durango, food that those other farmers would otherwise not be able to sell. But the best thing of all about their foods is that they're absolutely delicious vegetarian meals. My favorites are the two curries, but I've tried all the flavors and none disappoint. While I prefer the vegetarian options in the backcountry, a lot of our clients like meat. Louise mentioned during our interview that they are looking for a partner who can provide packaged meats as they don't have the facilities to manage the meat themselves. Uh, I'm Louise, one of the co-founders of Farm to Summit. Yeah, my wife Jane and I do all the cooking. We also have a girl, Katie, in here that helps out. We have a small team and all the cooking happens right here. All the dehydration happens right here. The recipes are based off the farmers. The farmers in the beginning, we sent out all these emails of like, what do you have? What do you have a lot of seconds of? Where is there a gap where your supply chain is not being met? You know, what can you grow a ton of? And we let the farmers tell us that and then we made recipes off of it. So like the Thai carrot slaw, it's tons of carrots, it's red cabbage, it's green cabbage. Those are the three most popular things that we grow in this region. Um, and carrots grow really weird. We have thousands of pounds of seconds in the cooler right now because when the soil gets compacted, they grow kind of chubby or they get little legs, whatever. That's why there's carrots in the oatmeal too. It's because we wanted to put carrots in as many things as possible. So the recipes really are just based on what farmers have. We wanted to make a meal for kids. There's so many kids going out in the back country. We wanted to be able to give a product that was directed towards them. The right number of calories, lower sodium, a little bit of fun. So we ended up dyeing some egg noodles with vegetables <laughs> that we got from our local farms, making them super colorful. And then we infused the cheese powder with veggie dust. Organic, locally sourced broccoli dust. And we were throwing it away. So we thought, let's put it in something. Yeah, we're just trying to do things differently. Our meals are made for people that are really health adventuring, that are wanting to enjoy high quality food in a sustainable way. We're having a potluck tonight. What's the first thing that we're having that you've got here? We've got harvest anyway. green curry. Yeah, that's delicious. It is really good. Mmm. What do we have here? But a delicious garden mac and cheese. Mmm. Mm. Well, that has awesome flavor. It's Hot, but really good. Cheese. Yeah. I like the cornbread. Mmm. Good spice. 
Is it spicy? Like flavor spice. That is some tasty be beans. Man, that is some cheesy goodness. I, bet it, oh, I think I might have put too much water in. I tell you what. That's good. Mm. That's actually really good. Really taste the green chili. Yeah. Wow, that's spicy. Yeah. It's delicious, like usual. I found the PCO igniter on the jet boils to be the only that ones nice that are like actually reliable. Like yeah. the pocket it's rocket one in worked on oh. like, the first trip. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, this is really good. It smells really rock. good. But, What does it taste mm. like? It got some spice. I think it is turmeric latte. And creamy. Yum. It's really interesting though. You should taste it. All right. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> I mean, actually quite tasty. I want 